I am going to wait until um, some kid on here. You guys can let me know how the sound is. All that good stuff. I am. I am. I got your comment. We have to get an order placed. All right. It's a little chilly in here. Hi. Hello, hello. Sounds good. Good, good, good. Um, if you guys know, we tried to plan this in advance so you guys could join along and make with me or, you know, however you wanted to do it. Uh, you can order supplies ahead. Um, I am out of rice bran oil here at the shop, but um, everything else is available. Hi, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon if you are um, on my time. But um, we decided, you know, last week. Um, are you? Oh, oh, that's awesome! Yay! Um. If you guys were on last week, we decided this week to do lotion. And, you know, summertime is right around the corner. So, we decided to work on the summertime lotion. And you guys see my things back here. I made a batch early this morning. It is barely, barely warm. Um, so, it has come back down to temperature. And it is ready for me to add um you guys see like it wiggles just a tiny bit in here um but i wanted to make a batch ahead of time and um i was out of cocoa butter no we have plenty let me go check um we have plenty which type of cocoa butter just so i can double check and make sure i check the right item I'm going to check it right now. All right, cocoa butter. The white cocoa butter. Was it the wafers or just regular cocoa butter? I know we just restocked all of our wafers, the ivory. Uh, and it says that we have one pound of the natural. And let me look at the refined and deodorized, the ultra white. Okay. You said wafers. Let me go check then. I also use the wafers myself. You guys see that? Um, that's what I used in this batch. All right, let's bring up the wafers. So you were trying to order the ivory, correct? Hi, Marie. All right. I'm checking the stock on the ivory cocoa butter wafers. Okay, good. Yeah, everything is fully stocked on it. Uh, plenty available on that. Let me, I will open up the refined ultra white and check it too. Hi, Deb. Do I sell bags that big? Um... We have not sold those that big. We have sold our 8 ounce and our 1 pound bags. These are, um, they don't necessarily hold 5 pounds of um, product, but they hold like, yeah, it even, sh okay, sorry. I'm going back to um, Diana. I'm showing the other uh, cocoa butter is in stock as well. 
Uh, these bags, I don't have this size on the website, but this holds, um, we sell three pound bags. Um, wait a second. I misunderstood your question. Yes, yeah, so we have um, this size bags of cocoa butter. Uh, they're three pounds. You can order three, six, or nine pounds at a time. Uh, if you get nine pounds, you get three of these bags. Jumping on late. Um, it's okay. We, have, we haven't we have even started. We've been live for like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I always try to hop on a few minutes early to make sure the live is going well. Um... So, uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. I, that's why I started earlier. So, here is the lotion that I made earlier today. Um, it is set. It is ready. It is barely warm. Um, so, it is uh, cool to where I can add my fragrance and I can add my preservative. But, before we do this, I'm going to tilt you down. I'll tear. Um, we are going to make the other lotion. And then, um, you know, while it's going back here on my burners, you guys see I have two burners back here. I, I bought those on Amazon because um, where I'm working at the shop, you know, I don't have a stove here like you do at home. So, um, obviously, you know, I needed some way to do my oil and water phase um, and heat them separately. And then, because uh, you need to hold the heat for like 20 minutes. Uh, and that kills bad bacteria and all of that good stuff or all of that bad stuff. So that that way when you combine your oil and water phase, you're at the optimal temperature. Everything has been sterilized. All of that good stuff. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? A crock pot is great. Absolutely. Um, I actually have a crock pot here, um, but I haven't used it for this purpose because I would need two of them because you have to heat these separately. But these were super inexpensive, like $30 or something like that. I got on Amazon and you control the temperatures, all of that. And I use stainless steel pots or um, these are, these are just pots or, you know, you can get the great bigger ones. But for this purpose, I didn't need great big stock pots and whatnot to make lotion because I'm just making a 32, that's what this is, is 32 ounce batch of lotion. So I didn't need a great big stock pots to do that size. So I just have two smaller pots that we will do separate. So let me get my scale. And... For this purpose, uh, we are going to, I don't really need to measure my water, uh, but this is just leftover water in here. You kind of can't even see it. It's just a tiny bit. Um, from earlier, just going to leave that on here and <clears throat> make it my recipe. Okay, got my hair up in a ponytail. Um, this was sanitized earlier today. This lotion is just going to be for our personal use, but I will wear gloves. Um, I did when I made the first batch. I sprayed this with alcohol, like the whole thing, outside, inside, handle, the whole nine yards. I sprayed down with rubbing alcohol and then, you know, let that dry. And of course, you know, that helps keep your utensils and anything like that you're using to make lotion as sterile as possible to prevent any mold or any any bad things so both of these i did that i sprayed the whole thing with rubbing alcohol and i went through and i scrubbed it and then i set them aside to let them dry on their own before i added my oil and water so for this one um, I'm going to do the 32 ounce recipe again, which is going to fill eight or four eight ounce bottles. So in the end, I need 23 ounces of water for this lotion. Um, for those of you that did not look in the group or on the YouTube, um, I, I did post the recipe. It is 72% water, 20% oils. 5% e-wax, 1% preservative, and 2% fragrance. Um, so for this, uh, the size of the recipe that I'm doing, I need uh, 23 ounces at the end 
of water. But we are going to bring this up to a light steam. And we are going to let this not boil. But we are going to let this steam over here for 20 minutes. So you have to account for the water evaporation. So I'm going to add more like 30 to 35 roughly ounces of water in here. That way I know I have plenty. And when it time comes uh, for me to measure out the water, I'm good to go. So I'm going to add, there's just a few ounces in here. So I'm going to add like 30 ounces of water in here. And this is just normal distilled water. If you have a water filter at home, you can do that. Um, if you have bottled water and you want to use that, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take my water that I put in here. Get it over here on my heater and I, I need to make sure they're both plugged in. One of them, or I don't think either one of them is plugged in. I unplugged them earlier. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to turn this on like medium to medium high on the water only for the first several minutes while we do the oil por portion. That will help my water set up or get warm because there's more water than oils. Uh, so I'm going to get that going faster. You know, it's not going to hurt the oil if it did come to a boil. You know, just turn your heat down. It's not going to hurt anything. But your um, the oil por portion, you do not want to overheat. You just want to bring it up to a very light uh, temperature. I mean, like, from medium, medium, low is what I put this on for the oil portion. Because you don't want to burn your oil. Uh, you don't want it... It's okay if there's a light steam that comes off of it, but you don't want a lot. You don't want to smoke your oils. So for this recipe, I have decided to use three different oils. You can use any preference. That is the beauty of this lotion and this recipe is that you can do it however it suits you. What you want your finished product to to be. If you want a bit thicker of a lotion, you can do all butters. If you want a much, I mean a super thin lotion, you can do all liquid oils. I'm going to do a mixture and you guys will see shortly how it looks finished. So for this recipe, you need a total of 6.4 ounces of oils. So I'm going to do four ounces of rice bran. I'm going to do about 1.4 ounces of jojoba oil and then one ounce of cocoa butter. And that will give you some luxurious, luxurious oils or you can do uh, equal like 1.2 of the jojoba oil and 1.2 of the cocoa butter. Or you can use shea butter, you can use mango butter. Uh, you can use all luxurious oils. You can use avocado oil. You can use avocado butter. You know, any anything like that. It's the, the somebody commented on the Facebook page earlier, and I, I they were wondering like, what do I need? And the possibilities are endless for what you use for your lotion. All right, so I've got my rice barium, and I'm just, um, I'm not tearing the scale out in between. I just want to make sure I get up to the right amount at the end. If you are not comfortable measuring all into the same pot, you can totally measure this out separately and then combine them all together. So I'm going to be doing just like an ounce or just a little over an ounce of jojoba. It's a great label appeal, guys. And then cocoa butter wafers. Just gonna get my hand in there. Okay, 
maybe just a tiny bit more. Oh, here's a half of one. And a little bit more. It didn't quite go. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, I'll try to tilt this up. You guys can see my oils down in there. I don't want to dump it out. So, I'm going to put this over. Turn my scale off. I'm going to put this over on this heater right here. And I'm going to turn this on, like I said, between medium to medium low. We just want to gently warm this. And I'm going to keep a very close eye on it because when it does come up to temperature, I'm going to turn it to low. We want it just to be low. All right. You guys have any questions so far? This is actually a very, very easy process. Very easy. And so you guys can see this better. I'm going to put this up here because then that gets it up in your camera view and I'm not pushing it way down. Hi, Lucy. Just keeping an eye over here. Like I said, um, you know what? I forgot my emulsifying wax. You guys should have caught me. We can't make lotion without an emulsifier. <laughs> right? Here's my... I'm using the soft and silky e-wax. You guys should have fussed at me. Like, oh my goodness. Hi, Mary. We need 1.6 ounces. Gently. Shake this in here. To get the emulsifier. Okay. I cannot believe I almost left that out. You guys should have yelled at me. There's 35 of you guys here. Alright, emulsifiers added. Alright, so I've got this set between two and three. <laughs> I still can't believe I left that out. That's hilarious. Oh, I need to go get um, a spoon to mix this to show you guys. Uh, give me just a second. Grabbed a couple of things. You're fine. You're fine. I can see a light steam starting on my water, which is great. A few little bubbles. Now, once it becomes steaming, uh, then I kind of set a timer for like 20 minutes when it starts steaming. Because when it's steaming, I know that it's killing bacteria anything like that so this lotion is ready for me to add my preservative and add my um fragrance All right. Um, what did I miss in the comments? Oh, you have a sick kiddo. Oh, no. So sorry. Okay. So, I wanted to show you guys. Some people kind of freak out and they think they've messed up their lotion. I have this thick skein on top. Like, super thick. But then other, underneath of it, when I pull it away, it's really, look at this. Re, you see how liquid that is? Underneath that really thick top. And that is why I explained last week, I don't understand the people that make lotion and package it immediately while it's hot. Because I'm always afraid I may get this slight separation 
I like to mix it once it's cool. And then, of course, you know, with this preservative, it has to be below 120 degrees before you add it. Otherwise, you kill your bacteria or you kill your preservative and it's no longer good. So keep that in mind when you are making this. This finished product has to be below 120 degrees before you can add your preservative. So I'm going to do that right now. And for this, I just need like a half an ounce, very small amount. This is a very strong preservative. Okay. Oh, did you just see what I did? I just threw that cap in there. My goodness. You guys have to keep an eye on me. Okay. Now I'm going to add my fragrance. I'm using rose quartz. It smells delicious. And, well, you know, um, I didn't even need a full half an ounce. Uh, I read the fragrance portion, which is fine. Um, I added a tiny bit extra. It's gonna, it'll be okay. This is for our personal use anyways. I'm taking these home because I'm out of lotion. So I need 0.64 ounces of fragrance. And that is for a, just a nicely scented lotion. You can, of course, do a higher percentage of fragrance. But note that it... It can cause skin irritation. Always follow your uh, SDS, your, um, not SDS. What am I trying to think of? Guys, my mind is blank. I was, go I was going to go get the fragrance notes for this, and my mind went blank on, <laughs> on what you need to follow safety guidelines. All right. So, I'm going to type in rose quartz. Get that. Searching. Search, please. Okay. I'm going to bring this up for you guys. IFRA. See? Gosh, thanks. Always, always double check your IFRA for lotion. So, this is, um, it's citrus notes of bergamot, orange, and grapefruit on a bed of jasmine, sandalwood, musk, and rose petals. Does that not sound delicious? I mean, it's absolutely amazing. All right. So, for lotion, let's bring this up. Uh, I, I can never remember exactly which category lotion is. Creams, oils, those are for babies. Hand creams, there we go. 5C. Um, so, like, this can be used up to 5% safely. Yep, category 5. <laughs> um, and I'm only doing 2%. So, you can safely add this preserve. This, gosh, I cannot speak today, and I've very much apologize, you guys. You can add this fragrance safely up to 5%. So I need 0.65. Also note that the more fragrance you add, um, the higher... Okay, I'm turning my oils down to low. And I'm also turning... My water down to low. I can see a very, very minimal steam at the oil. So I'm, I'm totally turning that down. All right. And my, my water is doing beautifully. All right. So we've got our fragrance in here. We have our preservative in here. And I said I was going to mix this up here. Now, you can use your stick blender for this. I think I'm going to. Because, you know, 
That will make life faster and easier for us. Would it not? You know. I use a stick blender for the initial emulsion. Multitasking. Can't do that when you're trying to learn something. I really hope that I help with learning. I'm going to plug in an extension cord. That way I can bring my stick blender over here to you guys. And I hope I take, you know, I help some of you guys remove the fear from making a lotion. It's very, very easy. All right. So I have my stick blender ready to go. I'm a great teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. In with my stick blender. It's on the lowest setting. And then you guys will get to see the finished consistency. I'm just blending this to get any separation because it is cooled now like you know i showed you it has that kind of thick layer on top and then we're mixing in our preservative and our fragrance Okay, this makes, I'm trying not to shake you guys too much. Uh, will the stick blender add bubbles? As long as you keep it emulsified, immersed down in there and burp it, no, it's not going to add bubbles. It does not. All right, taking my napkin. I'm going to take my head off so it doesn't fall over because that will be my luck. Fall over, make a good mess. Because I am a hot mess some days. For sure. All right. So, so, uh, what did I miss in, in the comments? All right. Come on now. Quit it. Cool. Okay. Like to put your recipe in sheets, protectors. Oh, that's a that's a great idea. How did Maria, how did you like the sugar scrub? Your husband likes falling. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm just going to go around with my spatula here. Scrape down all of my sides. You guys, this is a beautiful, I call it a summertime lotion because it is not really super thick. But it's still like... Look at that gorgeousness. Very easily goes in a pump bottle. Now, there are several ways you can package this. If you have one of those fancy dancy machines, um, you can definitely use that. I do not. It smells fantastic. Do not fear of adding a little bit of extra fragrance. Uh, if you want, you can reduce your water percentage. Say you want to do, you, you want it strongly scented and the fragrance will allow for that. Like this one goes up to 5%. So you say you want to use 4% fragrance, reduce your water by 2%, increase your fragrance by 2%. The lotion will turn out the same. It will be stronger scented. Don't be afraid of this guys. 
so easy. All right, so like I said, there's several different ways you can package this. Keeping an eye on everybody. I, for one, like piping bags. Non-messy. And if I have to use multiple bags, that's fine. Move my scale out of my way here. I like piping bags. Makes my life easier. I always make a mess with lotion. Always. I end up getting it everywhere. Now I'm going to try to do this where I can refill this bag and only use one bag. So, uh, you can tie this up if you want. I'm going to weigh these. I have these cute little bottles we have here at Be Scented. I'm going to put eight ounces in there. Um, I'll talk about them all in a moment. I am going to get my scissors, cut the tip of this bag. Oh, there they are very small because this is a thin lotion it's going to shoot out of this bag if you have a great big bag keep that in mind i'm cutting a small tip off the end of this lotion or yes yeah, keeping it upright uh yeah i use gallon bags too uh yes see it's gonna come right out of there guys and then how pretty, it's so satisfying. I'm at seven, eight ounces. Tilt it up, hold it like this is how I do it. Like we, it's eight ounces on the dot right there, guys. Stick it down in there. You just want to make sure your customers get what is stated on your label. Now, so I don't make a mess. I'm just going to make that, I'm just going to throw that one away. We are doing wonderful back here. Everything's still, you kind of can't see it, but there is a very light steam. And that's what I want. Just a very light steam. I'm going to put the rest of this lotion in here. I should get two more bottles. If I have done all of my measurements correctly and I don't spill it, <laughs> I will get two more bottles. If I don't spill it, that's the key. Now, I put the other bag over here out of the way. I'm going to stick this in here. I'm going to wipe it off on the inside of my bag. Get as much lotion as possible. And I'm going to get this old bag. Uh, you wouldn't believe at how much is left behind. I sit it down on a surface. Uh, I generally use a clean spatula, but I don't have one sitting here. So I'm just going to use my hand. I'm going to squish it down, get out as much of this product. You guys see, I squish that down. Get out as much of that product as I can. So 
See, and that's the reason it's a good thing to wear gloves because then you're not messy. Yes. See, I didn't uh, think this process all the way through. I was like super excited with you guys to, to, to make this with you guys. So, I wasn't completely prepared, apparently. Obviously. All right. Last one. Bubble. And I did not feel this one. And that's okay. That's okay. This one will be mine. Toggle bottle. Yes. Uh, like they're, I think other people call them Malibu bottles. They're amazing. So I'm going to put my lotion pump on. You know what? And I just realized that these lotion pumps are a smidge too long. And I have stuck it down in there. If that happens and they're too long, like we've got some that are really, really long. Don't freak out. Just snip the end. Just make sure you snip it at a 45 degree angle with your scissors. Snip the end, 45 degree angle. There we go. If you don't do a 45 degree angle, um, it may not pull up the lotion good. Not sure where that went. These are 8 ounce bottles. I'm going to pull that one out because I'm not going to waste it. And um, I will fix it. But this is the one I would use to show you guys um, how the lotion feels and like looks and comes out of the pump. Okay. And it's been 20, over 20 minutes. I can mix this. And since I'm going to do the same lotion, um, I may do it in this same pot for you guys, just so you guys can see. I'm, I'm not going to worry about cross-contamination or anything like that, because it's going to be the same fragrance. Um, so, how much do you charge? Honestly, I would do $10 to $15 a bottle. I actually looked, I did some research before the video. I looked at Bath & Body Works. They sell their 8-ounce bottles of lotion for $16.95, guys. And they're mass-produced. Do not be afraid to sell for your worth, okay? So, I'm going to, I'm going to wipe. I always keep paper towels on hand, always. Yeah, I looked at Bath & Body Works this morning. I did, before I started this. Um, I'm just going to watch wipe the front edge of this off i'm not worrying about the lotion that's inside because i'm making the same scent of lotion and i just want to put it in here just to show you guys the awesome reaction that happens when you add the oil and water phase so let's mix this lotion and then we'll chat some more about this all right so i'm going to turn these off okay i'm going to measure my water first this is how i do it i don't think there is a right or wrong way um, to do this, if you want to do oil, then water, I don't think there's a right or wrong way. I generally always do the water. So I need 23, just over 23 ounces, like 23.05. But as you notice, I did not completely fill up my fourth jar, even though I made 32 ounces of product. So you probably will always have one available 
for your personal use. So I have a little bit of water left over. Once that cools down, I can always pour it back into my bucket. You don't have to discard it. There's nothing wrong with that water. Um, I, I don't need to measure anything. Now, my water's a little cloudy because, you know, we had product in there. So, here is our oil phase. This is my favorite part, guys. Like, watch the magic. How awesome that that just kind of immediately turns into lotion. Now, I do have water or oil floating on top. And that is okay. That is where our stick blender comes in hand. You can do this by hand. You can. Whisk it with a whisk vigorously. I'm going to just wipe the end of my stick blender off. Um, you can whisk it. And whisk it really, really good for several minutes and then set it to the side. If it separates... You can re-emulsify uh, it together. Yes, yeah, so just like that lotion. So, I'm going to stick blend this on the lowest setting just so it's good. It emulsified really well. Everything's mixed. I have to be very careful because this pitcher is very full. I did it earlier waiting I just gently pulse it now if I have this in a great big stock pot uh, I probably would blend the crap out of this like you know and just you know like that <laughs> but it, it's really full I don't want to make a mess guys this is ready to be set aside yeah like soap this is ready to be set aside let it come down to room temperature if you make this late in the evening put a lid on it put it on the stove or wherever put a lid on it get it in the morning i'm gonna this is very hot move this over here so i don't knock it over there we go all right, so we're done with that part. Done with the gloves. Let's open this and see how this comes out of the pump. Maybe if I can get the these pumps that I'm using are um come open ones that I've had. There we go. Gosh. <laughs> oh, it's like I can't cannot get it open. All right. So these, of course, will need labels. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you guys can see. Look at that. Oh, beautifulness. Beautifulness come out just beautifully. I'm going to rub this all in really good. That smells really good. Even doing just 2% fragrance smells nice. Like I said earlier, do not be afraid. If your IFRA usage will allow you, you can increase your fragrance and <laughs> um, just lower the water. You know, if you, you increase your fragrance by another 1 or 2%, just decrease your water by that. And you'll be fine. So, I have to wipe the palms of my hands off or I will get, like, lotion everywhere. All right. Labels. Let's talk labels for just a minute. When you label this, aloe vera juice, yes. Yes. A hundred percent. I have aloe vera um, powder that I have used before as well to make my own aloe juice instead of water. Yes. I agree a hundred percent. Huge label appeal there, guys. Sorry. It's a little chilly in here. My nose wants to run. Okay. 
So, in essential oils. Yes, essential oils would mix the same. Just really check your usage rate uh, because the usage rate on essential oil, uh, nine times out of ten, is much lower than a fragrance because the fragrance is actually designed um, for skin safety. Yes, I use, I have, it's back in my soaping container. Uh, I have aloe powder and I just reconstitute it like when I make, uh, when I have my water. Uh, I can't, re I don't remember the ratio, but it's like a teaspoon to so much water reconstitutes it into aloe juice. And it's not um, the brown color that like you can buy the aloe juice or aloe water at Walmart uh, and it's kind of brown. This stuff is not, it, it's clear. So I love it. So let's talk about labels. You need, when you're labeling lotion, we do not put water, rice bran, jojoba oil. That's not how we label this. They need to be labeled with the correct INCI name. So when you do that, I mean, you can totally, you can Google INCI name for whatever, and it will tell you. It's very easy to find the INCI name uh, or like on Be Scented for our emulsifying wax. It has the INCI name. Copy it. Go to the website and copy it uh, when you're doing, because you don't put it's emulsifying wax. You need to put what it actually is. We don't carry the aloe powder. It's something that I bought like forever ago. Um, years ago, actually. We do not have aloe powder. This stuff feels wonderful. <laughs> like I'm sitting here like messing with my hands and it feels amazing. Um, but hi, Bo. He woke up. You guys, I don't, you guys can kind of see him. He just walked by. He's very good. Uh, always, always behaves 100%. So, but anyways, when you label, you label from greatest to least amount. So, you're going to start with water. So, it's aqua, and then you put in quotation, not in quotations, um, yes, in uh, parentheses or in quotations, you put um, water. Then your next ingredients, for me, it's rice bran, because that was my next biggest ingredient. And then I put, uh, I just Googled the INCI name for rice bran. It's some weird thing. And then you put that and then in the parentheses, rice, bran, then oil. Next ingredient for me would be emulsifying wax. I went to the website. I pulled the INCI name, plugged that in there. The very next thing would be uh, jojoba oil. So I Googled that, put the INCI name, then in parentheses, jojoba, then oil at the end. Yeah, see, it's, it's it, exactly. Thank you, LaToya. That's a great, thank you so much for posting that. Perfect example right there is how you would write on your label the proper way to label this. And you, like I said, now fragrance is the only thing that you can put fragrance because that is the INCI name for fragrance. It is fragrance. And um, you can totally ask, you know, uh, it's very, very easy. Greatest to least amount. Generally, the very last thing on there is going to be your preservative. It's always like the least amount of your product because very little is needed. Hi, buddy. <laughs> um, may not have seen it. What did I miss? Did I miss a question? Um, I don't see a question from that person that said no answer. Good night. I don't see a question. Okay. Anyways, whatever. So this I call summertime lotion because it is a lighter lotion, even though it's very luxurious. And, but, and it can go in a pump bottle. It's not heavy. It is a wonderful summertime lotion. Now, I have a thick winter lotion that is more like the consistency of butter. It will not go in a pump. It is too thick. 
Oh, I didn't even see asking to ship. I didn't see the. Yes, we can just check the website. It will give you that information uh, on the website for shipping. Just note, uh, we have a section on the website for shipping international. Please look at it and uh, go over that. Uh, so you know the restrictions to you. So that is it, guys. That is how easy this is. I Like, how long did it literally take us to actually make the lotion? 15 minutes? Not including, I mean, not even 15 minutes. Measuring. Then you stick it on a warming plate. Let it come up to a very, very light steam and let it sit there for 20 minutes so it kills off any bad bacteria. Then you mix your oil and your water phase together, emulsify it with a stick blender for 15, 20 seconds. Let it come to room temperature. Then you're going to add your preservative and your fragrance and you're put it in your bottles and you're done. So easy. So, I mean, this is, and like I said earlier, pricing. This is not, your most expensive part of this is probably going to be your bottle and the pump. It's probably going to be the most expensive part. This is 72% water. Essentially only, a, what, not even a third. Um, not even a quarter. Or, yes, a, a little over, like a quarter. Hi. Hi. You have a toy. I see that. He went... <laughs> The shelf life. The shelf life is the same as what the shelf life is on your preservative. I always put use within one year uh, of purchase and you're, you're safe. But the preservatives, they actually are good for a couple of years. But say you make it and you have the lotion on hand for a few months, you know. So I always just put use within one year of purchase. And I've never had any trouble with that. As long as you follow the guideline to add your preservative once your lotion is below 120 degrees. Above 120 degrees, you're going to burn off um, your preservative. I know, don't forget me. He's so cute. <laughs> He's such a good dog. I mean, um, he sleeps most of the time. He never barks. Uh, nothing like that. Uh, he whines. But he never barks, which I love because I hate dogs that bark all the time. Drives me nuts. So that's it. Um, so I've got these three and then I will probably get three, four more uh, with the other batch that I made. I mean, it's awesome. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, I do. I have a question for you guys. Do you have any questions about lotion? About the process? Anything like that? Thank you. Your cats are driving you nuts. I know, right? And then I know that some people worry about cleanliness uh, I with animals. I don't know of many households that do not have animals. And as long as you keep a good work surface and you keep a clean area, I see no issues uh, with making anything. So a face cream. Um, I could look into it. I feel like a face cream would be very similar to this because face creams, um, or maybe you, maybe you use this base recipe and change the oils to what would be good for a face. You can keep the recipe the same, but change the oils that you use to make it be more beneficial for your face. So, um, is what different from the lotion? Sorry. I missed your, the, I guess, the face cream. But I have a question for you guys. Next week, we're going to do a packing orders live. Um, but the following week, I want to make something for you guys. We, I want to make like we did this week, but I want us to decide today and give you guys two weeks. Uh, that way I can post it. We can post the recipe and the ingredients and you guys have time to get them on hand. 
Yeah, light oils. Absolutely. Um, you could definitely keep the base recipe because it's a very wonderful consistency. Change the oils to suit what you want it for. And then voila, you have a face cream. There's nowhere in the books that have to say, oh, this recipe has, you have to do it this way for it to be a face cream. It, there's no, there, there is no written rule there, you know, that says you have to use this or, you know, it has to be this combination. It, you can do how you want it, the finished product to be. So next week, do you, or not next week, in two weeks, do you guys want to maybe do um, body sprays, room sprays, or do the thick lotion that we'll put into pots, you know, like, um, because they'll have to be scooped out because it's super thick. Um, what would you guys like to do? I know, exactly. And that is probably because of the oils that are used in, in that. Room sprays. See, yeah. So I can post body spray and room spray. We can do that together. Uh, it doesn't have to be separate. because They are two separate recipes. So, I mean, maybe we do a body spray week and then we do a room spray week. Because they are... Uh, different recipes and even doing just one simple recipe you know the live is generally like an hour or so so we can always do um i'm getting mixed emotions every <laughs> room sprays and body sprays um you guys comment and i will pick the most uh room spray or body spray we'll do next and then whatever one we don't do next we will do the other one the following time I will be happy to do that and we can talk about, you know, the recipe, the body spray. I, I think we should do the body spray too. I've had a lot of people say, oh, I, all I smell is alcohol um, and I can go over that with everybody. A pet feet dry oil spray. Oh, goodness. Body spray, room spray. <laughs> We are like, you guys are on it with the comments. I appreciate it. Um, yes, that's why I'm, I'm talking about it right now. I will set up the next live for in two weeks and post the ingredients. That way you guys have two weeks to place your order from us and we get it to you in time for when we do the live, you can either do it with us or you can do it right after. That's that's what I really would like to do. Um, I think that would be really great. Okay, so, all right, I'm just making an executive decision. The next, next week will be a uh, packing video. And then the following week, in two weeks from now, we will do a body spray. Make body spray with me. Um, even though I've done tons of videos about this, where, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, people enjoy watching it over in, in different times. And there's always new people. And I'm happy to help any way I can. Field questions. Show the process. You're so excited for your lotion box. I know, right? You guys did awesome. You guys like almost bought me out of emulsifying wax. I had to, um, I always keep a large, like not a large stash, but I always keep a stash for myself, you know, um, and I pulled from my stash to add more quantity to the website. <laughs> And luckily, you know, I had bags that were still sealed and um, all of that. So I just, will you quit whining over there? I'm sure we all can hear you. So, yes. So next, I'm going to start the live. You have lots of different bottle options. We've, I generally do four ounce body sprays. You can definitely do eight ounce uh, you can buy the eight ounce bottles and you can get sprayer tops. Um, but I generally do a four ounce bottle because 
I, I feel like body sprays last a long time. And because it's not something you put on multiple times a day, like you do lotion or people that, you know, are lotion users, you know, they generally put it on more than once, maybe in the morning and then after bed, or if they, once they take a shower, et cetera, you know, and they're lotioning up their whole body. So you use a lot more lotion. So I use, I generally do a four ounce bottle for a body or room spray because you want the customer to use it to where they come back. Uh, so you don't want to give them uh, now if it's a repeat customer then yeah you can uh, of course add give them bulk sizes if they want but I generally like to do a smaller bottle so they use it and then they come back and they buy more so uh, I like the aluminum bottles um, because sometimes with body sprays and uh, it's um, cloudy and that's normal so I like the aluminum bottles. We have those on the website. Uh, and then we also have clear bottles if you would rather have a clear bottle. And we have black sprayers. And then I think we have natural sprayers. Uh, how much would I sell one for? A body spray? Is that what you're asking for? Or are we on to lotion? Sorry. I totally got off on the wrong tangent there. We are going to do body spray in two weeks. I will create the live when I get done here and post it. That way you guys have can get the recipe and know exactly what you need to purchase. And this time I will put links to the website. Uh, body sprays, they're also very inexpensive. The most thing you're going to have in it probably is your bottle um, because it um, is it's water and alcohol based. And both of those are very inexpensive. So um I, I probably would sell, but well, you know, you can compare Bath and Body Works. I think they do. I'm going to go look right now and I will tell you guys. Let me see. Bath and Body Works. Go here. I'm going to look at what their body spray is. Right here is one. It is an eight ounce bottle, I believe. I'm opening it up. Yes, eight ounce bottle, and it is $17.95. And it's eight ounces. So I personally would do seven, eight dollars for a four ounce bottle, is what I probably would do. And you will definitely make your money back from that. It's very quick to make, very easy. It's not something you have to sit and wait on. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, I see people question their prices all the time. I always suggest people when um, to source out and look at what other people are selling for. Don't underprice yourself because then customers think that you have a cheap product. You don't want that. Sell for your worth because you guys are know you guys are worth it and definitely sell, you know, and get your money's worth. Uh, some rose quartz fragrance. I know it smells, uh, it smells amazing. It really does. I, I love it. Um, but so like when we ship you guys these bottles, they come like this, uh, in a bag and see like these, um, these ones, uh, the, it's a very long tube, obviously. So how do I fix that is what I do. I have to put this back in that bag is i set this like this and kind of to where you know you know where it's going to come down to look at the bottom of the bottle and then i kind of know i need to snip it right here and then you can check so you know when I, that would be screwed on it would be snipped down there and that would work very easy just snip it at a 45 degree angle that way when you use it, it doesn't suction to the bottom and it, it's able to pull up your lotion. Head over to the website, guys. Grab you some rose quartz. It smells awesome. Uh, we have strawberry cupcake on sale this week. Uh, grab you that. Spend $30. You get an 8-ounce bottle for free. Do not forget to add it to your shopping cart and use the coupon code. It's that simple. Add it to your shopping cart. Uh, order thir over $30, $30 after your coupon would be apply applied and that it will deduct the cost of that bottle off. 
And you guys can totally pick up these 8-ounce uh, lotion bottles with the pumps to make your lotion. Uh, do I put a seal over your bottle when selling? If I'm shipping it like this, sometimes I will take black tape and run it over the top. Just so it doesn't get knocked. But for the most part, no. You guys seen the difficulty I had opening this thing. I've never had any trouble. Goat milk. What's your question, Lucy? Do I have goat's milk? Yes. Do I use raw goat's milk in lotion? No. Um, it's very difficult to preserve because uh, just milk in general is very difficult to preserve. And I am afraid that I would not preserve it properly. And um, my customer would get something that has bacteria growth in it. Uh, so I'm just, I'm afraid of that. I kind of just stay away from milk lotions. You're very welcome. As uh, soon as we get done here, I'm going to set up the live for two weeks. And then you guys head over to the website. We have aluminum bottles. We have um, regular clear four ounce bottles. Um, and it's loud out there. Um, and you can get your supplies, get your fragrance, get your polysorbate, because um, we have that plenty of stock. You can get your preservative, all of that stuff from us to play, to, to make the uh, body spray with us in two weeks. I have not tried powdered, because once the powdered is reconstituted into liquid form, then it's just like regular milk. Because the, all they do is freeze dry it to turn it into a powder. And freeze drying a product does not uh, cause it to lose any of its properties. So once you add that powdered milk to the water, then essentially you're working with the milk again. So... Um, I mean, it's personal preference. If you want to test it and, and do, I mean, that is perfectly fine. I'm not saying do not do it. Uh, there are lots of people that make milk lotions and that is perfectly fine. Just do your research and do what you feel is proper. If you want to send it off to a lab for it to be tested for microbes and all of that good stuff, you can do that. Um... But I personally don't do a milk lotion. All right. So let me check Facebook, Messenger. Uh, all right. I think we're good. All right, guys. So that's it. For making lotion, I hope you guys that I remove some of the fear that some people may have for making lotion and you're confident to make it yourself. Um, correct. Yes. Yes. That is different using it in, in soap. I, I do use milk and soap all the time and that is different 100%. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go and I'm going to set up the new live stream um, with making the body spray and I will post the recipe immediately. That way you guys can head over to the website, buy supplies from us. Uh, we really, really appreciate all of your support. Uh, we love all of your orders. I thank all of you guys that have purchased this past week and ordered supplies to make lotion. It's very much appreciated. Without you guys, I would not be able to do this. So thanks, guys. Bye.